Welcome back to Nostalgia Bros. Children might be watching this, Troy. <laughs> Spoilers! Connor loses it! No! No! Are you kidding me? Three, two, one. Welcome back to Super Termite Bros. Yeah, <laughs> this guy is the best. He can climb things that Kazooie can't. Suck it, bird. Stupid bird. I'm fucking living in your backpack. I want them. Oh yeah. So one of the one of the ways that you kind of get back because you can go back to Mumbo and they will turn you back into the Banjo Kazooie, or you can just go too far out the stage and they turn you back to Banjo Kazooie anyways. Because this isn't uh, Banjo Termite. Yeah. Termite Kazooie? So yeah, oh look at that. We learned one ability to get up this. But we'll use it the rest of the game at least. This on the other hand is the limiting factor. You gotta get the notes to get through the door. This is stupid. So I'm gonna make you collect notes and jiggies to get places? Well, Jiggy's opened the place. The note door is just so you have to kind of go through at least the level to get the moves. Re at the end of the day, that's really your limiting, limiting factor is that you need you need the moves. You can't move forward without it. Um, mostly because you need at least all of them to do the last boss. Okay. But last boss, one of the coolest boss battles I think I've ever done. This second game boss battle, not so great. That's just because you have a big throbbing erection for this game. No, no. You'll 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 like the last boss. There's lots of stages, lots of cool segments, and uh, lots of cool segments. And it and the way it ends, you will not be ready for it. Okay, whatever you say. No, don't don't reserve your judgment. Uh, Do it. Uh, judgment. No, I am not reserving any <laughs> judgment. Oh yeah, so one of the other things I mentioned earlier, just the music, and uh, conveniently the. Um, music I failed starting at the beginning of the episode. You can actually hear it playing in the background every so often when we're not talking well over the game. Um, I saw the feather talking. You can actually hear all the different... Uh, you can hear the actual music kind of play through, but every time you go to another area, it kind of changes like the instruments or what's going to be playing the actual music. Oh, I went the wrong way. So it's the same tune, but same. they just change the music? Or uh, change, like, change, the, change the... Yeah, the yeah. instruments. It gives it more of a feel. Like, if we're going to the Pirate Bay, which is right there, uh, download torrents. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. We're really just looking at the... Uh... Oh, fuck. I fucked that up. Is, bad, the, bo I? <laughs> is, is, is the boss the NSA? Or like... <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll see them in at least three hours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we beat Banjo Kazooie, you guys may or may not have to bail us out of jail. Look, they won't even know we're gone. <laughs> Look, there's a way to. I want to like quick finish this. I think it's like Z. I don't like pressing A multiple times. Really? <laughs> really? So, uh. This one, luckily, not all of it's doors to get what you unlock. Which, again, it's even a small little thing, right? And every game, it's just like, it could be like, you unlock a door. Great. You unlock another door. Yeah. You unlock another door. But yeah. At least it's not like party member based. Like, you need this person to do one thing and you'll never use him again. Wow. Well, I know, it only gives you two playable characters. Well, it's one playable character. No, it's two playable characters. But yeah. There's two people. Man. There's two of them! Oh, I think I still have it unlocked. Oh, yeah. What unlocked? Okay, if you see that ocean right there, yep. that giant mountain that's there, yep. that's not actually supposed to be there regularly. What is if you, it? If you just started a brand new game and never played this before, it was just a little t like little bit of a rock sticking out. Okay, so water. like, but you can go into it. So yeah. what's up with it? It's part of the secret. So yeah, there's a shark now. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, this level has a shark to, uh, it, like, keep you out of the water for a lot of the, the ocean segments. But yeah, basically, the island there is a secret. Once you beat the game and get all 100 jiggies... Actually, this goes back way, right to the 64, because this was supposed to be the coolest technology that ever existed in, like, 1994. Um, <laughs> Alright, come on, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, it was forever ago. Uh, it was 20 years, but here's what No, happened. no, but the N64 wasn't out in 1994, was it? 
Oh, yeah, no, I was off. Like, uh, 90, 97, something. 97, like 98. Yeah. So what happens is when you beat the game, you unlock that. Like and what that, is it? Is it like a secret level? So, yeah, you go inside there, and there is an egg at the top. Okay. Now, no one knew what these eggs were originally for, like because Banjo Tooie hasn't come out yet, and that's what it was actually for was Banjo Tooie, and it's for stop and swap. Now in the second game of Banjo Tooie, there's a spot at which you could hatch these eggs. Now it never worked on the cartridges. It works on the actual Xbox 360 version, which is cool because it explains what it's supposed to be. It's little bonuses. So what you're originally supposed to do is the N64 would store about like four seconds or so of data whenever you like pull out a cartridge it holds the data for a few seconds uh, much like the actual Game Boy did with um, I think it was Golden Sun one of those guys where you can actually like keep all the stuff between the two games no they, but they did that with a password system not any kind of memory data yeah this one was you're just supposed to like it just stores it for like five seconds while you take out the game you stop and swap you swap the game oh and, okay and then you're supposed to hatch the eggs in the second game there's also the ice key now the xbox version obviously can do that because we have hard drive and everything saved on one area now and it's great but like when it first came out everyone's like what the hell is this for <laughs> Especially because Mumbo, at the very end of the game, shows you, like, all these pictures of, like, places you're supposed to go. Okay. To, like, hint at what you need to do. And they just never got it to work. But it was one of the biggest... Not failures, but it was kind of like a backlash for, like, the game. Because everyone was like, oh, why can't you do that? And it's just, like, you just didn't have the technology at the time. If it worked, it'd been the coolest shit at the time. Yeah. As you can tell. But it's... It didn't. So what do the what do the eggs give you when they hatch? Just like little bonuses of things. Yeah, like you get like extra eggs or something. Okay, uh, so it's stupid and it's basically pointless. No, not really. Like oh, I can't actually remember them. I I have it in my because I have Banjo Tooie as well on this, and I definitely stop and swapped it. I can't remember <laughs> it actually at the moment. So uh, we're now right. learning how to fly no, right. with a bear on our back. Ladies and gentlemen, Troy stopped and swapped. You have to stop and swap. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta. You gotta, you know, take a look at everything and swap it out. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, yeah, this guy has the most annoying voice. Um, I There's also a talking toilet later. <sighs> so everything talks. Everything talks. Uh, it has Why? the same voice as this stupid-ass hippo. It's also a hippo that's afraid to swim. I thought hippos were, like, aquatic creatures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine that. You're, you're slightly catching on to the joke. Oh, God. Uh, that's just painful. This game had not the worst swimming, but by all means was I'm not going to want to do it as much as possible. Yeah, avoid the water. That's, yeah, there that's, was... that's, that's, that's just true. We've already discussed this. Water levels were made by Satan. Oh yeah, we did discuss that. Yeah, the, the only benefit of this is they knew full well that water sucked, and they did as little as needed. They did enough for flavor, and then was like, okay, that was, that's enough. No, we're, oh, dude, he swims like a dog! Yeah, <laughs> he does the dog paddle. You know what, like, ah, oh, this game has so many just little things, and I love it, and I will never stop loving it, and no one can tell me otherwise. So you just throw bars of gold. Why? What? 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 Because he's going to give me a Jiggy for it, even though Jiggies are presumably made out of gold. Um, so he's, <laughs> he's here's these bars of gold, take this gold puzzle piece. Yeah. That's fine. The story is irrelevant. So you're just buying your way into a Jiggy? Yep. Well, imagine he's afraid that, of water, right? So Imagine if you could actually just, like, get bars of gold and keep using them through the rest of the game. as like, <laughs> here's seven bars of gold. I don't want to do this level. He actually, again, he comes up again in the second game, and you do need to buy... That's the only, like, level where you buy things. And it's so funny, but... Oh, man. I think you, yeah, you buy something and it allows him to, like, buy a jet ski. <laughs> like, oh my yeah, it's, god. It's the most, like, odd oddball thing to buy. That's what I imagine, like, people that have no money who win the lottery and they're like, what are we gonna do with our lives? Jet ski. <laughs> jet ski. That's how you know you're rich. You buy a jet ski. So we're in a giant, like, this is kind of like a mini boss. Not really one. So, he, looks, like, he looks like the opposite of a mini boss. He, he looks pretty, pretty large. Yeah, like, when you first try and fight him, you're like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Because you're like, oh, I got eggs. Shoot eggs at him. No, eggs don't do anything. He actually taunts you if you do that. See? Feeble eggs, no match for nippers. Oh, so he refers to himself in the third person. 
Connor doesn't like this. <laughs> Follow him into the shell. Pursuit. <laughs> Beat make, him in beat him in his home. Make sure, make sure you kill him. Wow, that's a big shell. Yeah, yeah. The shell is a TARDIS, it's actually bigger on the inside. But yeah, so the game actually like had many little levels like this where the level would be bigger only because of this. In the second game, the levels are huge, and I'm not sure how like I guess they had a better uh, engine to run the game on. Probably just let them make it uh, bigger. Well, that's, a, that's another big thing with the early, like the early cartridges, right? Is you couldn't have huge levels because the game couldn't handle running it all at once. It's why there's so many games like Banjo Kazooie, Mario, where it's just like these little stop sequences where you go in between levels, and that allows them to make a much bigger game, but kind of like hopping out of the problems, which is the best way to do things. Just, oh, obviously, yeah. just avoid avoid the problems in general by running away from them. Yeah, that's how I get my exercise: running away from my problems. <laughs> I thought that was drinking. <laughs> no, let's... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, or like, this is easily one of the earliest games that I played and then also fell in love with because, especially today, there's no platformers. Like, there's See, no I, I, never, I, never, I, never, I never played very many platformers when I was a kid. I, I played a lot of RPGs when I was growing up, when I was, like, in my learning how to play games phase. A lot of RPGs, a lot of strategy games. Yeah. See, like, that's what I always find weird with games like this, is that they don't make updated versions. Maybe the Wii has, like, one or two, but to be truly honest, like, the Wii is just remaking a lot of great games into, like, new evolved ones. Um, I just saw the new Yoshi Story for DS, or oh, 3DS, God. and it's, it's actually new levels. They didn't change the game, they just made more of it, which is by far a great idea. The game was amazing, no one... Yeah, don't fix what isn't broken, right? Yeah. That's, that's been a problem game companies have been fighting for years. Except for some of them, they, they should... It's not fix it, but make more of an actual game. Uh, and you can do small improvements, and there's nothing wrong with that. Or make more of Coffee the game. Coffee I'll be right over. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, every, everything talks in this game. And I think that's one of the best parts of like the charm of it. The, the game has charm. I don't know about that. Fuck yourself. This is what they had to work with, does man. Does everything need to talk, though? It's just kind of, like, obnoxious, isn't it? No, if you don't have everything talk, then it's then it's lame. You're lame. Well, you, you know what else is lame? The end of this episode. So, we'll see you guys next time on more Nostalgia Bros. More of uh, Sharks Trying to Kill Me. Fuck you. <laughs> this is the plot of Jaws. See you guys next time. <laughs>